David Durin, age 48, was a program manager for a nonprofit health care provider in Nashua, New Hampshire, who oversaw a grant from the U.S. Veterans Administration for the prevention of veteran suicide. Administering a program like that is a lot of responsibility, but David cooked up a scheme to steal some of that sweet VA cash for himself. He invented a fake doctor named Dr. Michael Rapp, who ran a fake treatment center called E3 Foundation that was allegedly going to provide psychological counseling to at-risk veterans. David set up a fake email address and fake phone number so he could pose as Dr. Rapp in calls with the VA. Then David created false invoices for the alleged treatment of local vets and was able to obtain $50,000 of the suicide prevention funds by laundering the grant money through the fake Dr. Rapp medical office. Eventually, the Veterans Administration caught wise to the scheme and investigated the case along with the FBI. David just pled guilty to wire fraud charges. Now, the statutory maximum sentence is 20 years for wire fraud, but David really only got away with $50,000, which wouldn't make his sentencing guidelines more than about a year in prison. Then again, the judge may recognize how morally reprehensible it is to steal veteran suicide prevention money, so I have no idea how this sentencing will break. I'm curious what you think is an appropriate sentence for David. Please let me know in the comments, and then have a great day, and be cool.